So when you when you walk away from a narcissist, you're going to be in for a very big surprise. It can be shocking, it can be a surprise. You will now see this so-called to be ex in a new relationship. It is just like two, three days or 24 hours sometimes, a week maybe. They're in a new relationship. And now you're thinking, now, is that it? I mean, you guys have been together for 20 years. You spent all your, you spent eternity with them. And now they're in a new relationship. They are going to the beach. They are going to holidays. They are in their shopping and they are lovey dovey, all this kind of stuff. And you're thinking in your mind, how did these guys move in? How did they move on too fast? So for the most of the guys who are living narcissistic relationships, that is what, that is going to be your biggest shocker. You will never see this coming. So you have a lot of ideas going through your mind. Okay? Things are going through your mind. What is going on? How could this happen so fast? Did you do anything wrong? or did you, did, There's nothing you did wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. There is nothing wrong with you. Ladies and gentlemen, let me validate you on this video. There is nothing wrong with you. You did not do anything wrong. The person that you're dealing with or you have been dealing with is simply a narcissist. That is all they do. Is all they know. They do not know anything else apart from that. So they're going to move on very fast. But you see, as the time goes on, you start to educate yourself because you want answers. Because you see, one of the things that the narcissist does they never really give you closure. They don't give you closure to a relationship. So they leave you with these answers. You don't, you know, with these questions, you don't have any answers. They don't want to give you the answers. They don't want you to close this case. So what you do now, you're going out there to do the closure yourself. You want to go and get that closure yourself. So you start educating yourself. You start learning things. And then you understand what exactly was happening behind the scenes. You finally like, okay, now you get it. And you see, the knowledge you get when you leave an narcissistic uh, situationship is going to be your closure. So that is going to be your closure. It will help you to, you know, to heal faster and move on. But you'll also understand that um, there's a very big chance that you was in those relationships for some particular lessons. So you see, one of the things that the empaths, I think it's some kind of divine alignment, or I could say divine intervention, where the universe can put an empath in a certain situation so that they can be able to learn some stuff. Because those lessons that you learn after abuse, narcissistic abuse, they will help you to move on in a much more healthy way. Because it's a lot of empaths don't know how to love themselves, take care of themselves, validate themselves. You know, a lot of empaths have got codependency issues and stuff like that. And you could have been going on in uh, circles, I could say cycles, whereby you could just find yourself. I, I, had one of the, I, had, I had a question like that recently. How can they stop? Somebody was asking, how can I stop attracting narcissistic people? So basically, one of the lessons you learn is that the universe will keep on presenting the same situations that you've been in. You will keep on meeting the same people in different bodies. You will leave a narcissist. You didn't do any healing. You're going to go to the next one. When that one has finished, is done, you jump to the next one, then the next one, and then the next one. Now you're going to start experiencing this cycle of where you continuously get drawn to narcissists. And you just simply don't understand what the problem is. You know, what is the, you know, what's going on? Why don't you, why can't you attract the souls, the beautiful souls meant to be with you? So, those lessons that you continue to learn on your journey, 
there are going to be the lessons that will help you not only to heal, but even to make better decisions in life. And when you learn how to heal those energies, and you learn how to heal those things that made you attract broken people, when you learn those things, and you learn those lessons properly, then now in the future you won't be able to attract the right people. Because now you can no longer sell yourself short. You can no longer just surrender into a useless, bogus, meaningless relationship. You will now understand that, okay, for you to be able to get into a relationship, a person must have gone through the process. They must have done the work on themselves. But on the other hand, uh, I've personally learned, um, I have heard from a confession, this was a confession from a narcissist. This narcissist told me that when they do break up, there are some people, this was, this was how the whole thing was, there are some people, when a breakup happens, they are going to run very fast. They are going to meet somebody else. But there are some people, when they go through a breakup, they are going to take some time and heal. So they can spend some couple of months, years, whatever, for themselves just to heal. And then they are going to prepare themselves for the next relationship. But there are some people who are going to break up with one person and they are going to be with the next one in the next couple of days. So if you are an empath who keeps on running from one relationship, you break up, you go to the next one, you break up, you go to the next one, then you are simply doing the same thing that narcissists do. You are not saving and taking some time for yourself to heal. You are simply running to the next person because you believe when you go into a new relationship, you're going to be able to cover up some wounds. Because what I heard from that narcissist, the narcissist told me, when the, some people who break up, now at that, at that time I didn't know anything about abuse and narcissistic and everything. The narcissist told me, when they do not go in with somebody else after a relationship breakup, they have a wound. Are you guys following? You guys have heard about this thing they call the narcissistic injury. When you break up and with the narcissist, you cause them an injury. So they have a wound. And that wound is very serious to that extent that it could even kill them. Should they fail to get anybody? Anybody is why you see sometimes you can break up with the narcissist and they can go and date the most disgusting person you've ever seen. They can even go and date a prostitute. There has got to be somebody very fast, coming very quickly to cover up the wound. Because the narcissist told me they are covering a wound. There is a wound they are covering at that time. It's a very deep wound and they need to cover that wound very fast to put like a plaster very fast. Those were the narcissist words in that time. Now, when I continue to educate myself, that I, I, then, I then learned what was this wound this narcissist was talking about. That's when I started to understand narcissistic abuse. So they, they do this for their own survival. You know, they do, this to, they do this for their own survival. They cannot survive any other way. But for a person who is a healthy person, you're just there thinking that, you know, how could you have spent like the last couple of decades with them? Many of you guys have been with, uh, you know, 20 years with the narcissist. And what is going on in your mind is like, how could you have been all this time and you never meant anything to these people? You know, it is simply because the narcissist just simply saw you as the next supply. So you wasn't the next person, you were simply the next object. Because these people, they are like, uh, they take people and use people like objects. Now, they are going to use that one for this. They're going to use that one for this. Sometimes they can even use each other. The narcissists can also, can also sometimes run into each other, similar energy, and they are going to be using each other. So they run into people to use. They can see and value people. They take people as objects. They need something from them. They will use them, and then they are going to dump them off and run off, is what they do. So when a narcissist is running into 
a new whatever relationship or situationship, they are running to cover some wound. There's a wound that has happened and they need to cover that wound very fast. Because if they do not cover that wound ASAP, it is going to be very dangerous for them. They could. I have told you that this thing is dangerous. It could even kill an assist. That thing can kill an assist. So that's the reason why you see these quick, um, these scenarios where you see them jumping from one person to another very, very fast. They are using other people as objects to heal. You know? A narcissist is not going to sit down in their own house and heal themselves. They cannot. They are going to die. So they run into somebody else very fast so that they can start healing. But you see, we all understand a narcissist cannot heal. So for them, it's like the, the way that person explained, that individual explained at that time, they're just covering the wound for a little bit, you know, a little bit of time. But that wound will not heal. They can only forget about their problems. They can forget about their trauma. They can forget about their abandonment issues and stuff like that for, for, for a certain period of time. Sometimes it can even take years. They could get a new supply. And you see them even thriving. They have been with those supplies for years, six, I don't know, ten, seven years or whatever. And then that person is going to figure things out. They are going to leave and they are going to go now to another person to cover, to cover up another wound. So they are running from person to person to person, simply trying to cover the wound. So for an empath, the most important thing you learn about narcissistic abuse is that you have got to create your space to heal. You do not need anybody to heal. You are supposed, first of all, to heal yourself on your own. Because you see, when you heal on your own, you are going to learn a lot of things about self-love. You will learn that it's possible to love yourself. It's possible to do your own things your way. It's possible to be on your own. It's possible to validate yourself. It's possible to provide all those things that you feel that you need in another person for yourself. You do not need anybody to give you those things. You can get those things yourself. And then now, as you heal, you're preparing yourself for your next relationship. Because you see, when you just keep on jumping from one person to another, I, did, I used to do those mistakes back in the days. I just didn't understand anything because I didn't even know who I am. So when you keep on running from one relationship to another one, you are simply doing the same things that narcissists do. And usually you're going to find yourself in a lot of rebound relationships, which will never work. Now you're going out there to hurt other people that didn't hurt you. Because at the end of the narcissistic relationship, relationship, we can all agree that you already wounded at the time. So when you move on to another person, you might even sometimes meet a very beautiful person, a nice person who is willing to love you. You are going to hurt those other people for no reason. Because you never took some time for yourself to heal. Me, one thing what I can promise you, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot meet a successful person uh, relationship and have a successful relationship. Uh, you cannot meet a, a, a person and have a successful relationship when you never sat down by yourself to heal yourself. You cannot give love to anyone when you haven't learned how to love yourself. You are first of all going to learn how to love yourself before you have now love to give to somebody else. Your cup should overflow. So now when somebody else comes in, you can love them authentically. And they can love you back as well. So the narcissists, they move on very fast because they want to heal the old wounds. 
using somebody else, but we all know that they never heal anyway. But the empath, they came in those relationships to learn something. It is until you have learned that lesson. That lesson will continue. The universe will keep on bringing that lesson until you learn that lesson properly. Empaths. I'll tell, this through, I'll tell you this through experience because I know. The lesson will keep on aligning narcissist after narcissist until you have finally learned that lesson. When you learn and master the art of self-love, you are ready for your soulmate. When you never took any time for yourself to heal, you can forget about soulmates. Ladies and gentlemen, the chances are slim to none that you're going to run into a relationship that will satisfy you and you'll be happy in that relationship because you have not yet learned how to be by yourself. You have not yet learned how to love yourself. So what I'm saying in this video, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, educate yourself. You're a survivor. Listen to the coaches. You learn a lot of things about narcissistic abuse. Read some books. I don't know. Go for some seminars or whatever. Learn and educate yourself. Before you think about a new relationship, first of all, learn what is going on with narcissistic relationships and how you can heal from that kind of energy to attract the person that is meant to be with you. So you guys let us know what you think about the video. In the comment section below, you guys know I do love and appreciate your support. You can book a session with me if you want to. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Desmos signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.